What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, guys? It's your main man, Phil, marking by Phil. And the firm advertising agency, baby. What's good, y'all? Hope everybody's doing all right. Let me check out my devices. Make sure everything is off. Real quick on this Friday evening. See who's in the chat. See if we can get some people, some brilliant students and some business consultants can come in and chime in with us on this quick, brilliant case study. I'm going to share a case study with you guys today. Today's case study, uh, it's number five with the firm. Uh, today's case study is about repositioning and retargeting. And how the firm almost made 250 k the last four quarters of 20. And I'm going to show you how we did exactly that so I can help you do the exact same thing, whether it's 250 k or it was $2,500. In some cases, if it's 250 bucks. I want to show you how to maximize that just by repositioning and retargeting uh, either your ads or even your business structure, okay? I'm going to show you how we did just that right now. But before we get started, I want to say this. For those who follow me, uh, with my courses and my trainings, you know I like to use a lot of different shapes and colors. So excuse me if I get a little wild with my shapes and colors. It's just kind of like how I... Um, you know how I connect there, okay? So excuse that though. But I want to show you exactly how we almost hit our mark for the last uh, of the, uh, the fourth quarter of 20 by trying to hit that uh, 250K mark, but we fell short, okay? Uh, this is where we started, all right? We started out in October. Uh, for those who follow us, you know, right, with our marketing agency, we sell courses, we sell training, we sell advertising, we sell marketing, we sell. I do coaching, I do consulting. So we do a lot of different things here at the firm, right? So you know I sell courses. So in October, so in October, we were at 100, 164K. That's where we were in October. But then in November, when November came around, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to, uh, for the holidays, I wanted to put all the packages together for a bundle. So in November here, we had four different training and courses. Also, what I always do, I'm gonna throw in some free shit. So I threw in a free tutorial plus an ebook. Now, the reason why I threw in the freebies is because one of my methods, and it always been working for me, and I train this when I uh, train other uh, small businesses and entrepreneurs, if you can do it, always give away free shit. Why? Because everybody likes free shit, okay? And it helps them love your brand even more, right? So we started off with four courses and trainings in October. November rolls around. Now I'm in the mood for a giveaway. I want to do a bundle sale, right? Courses normally go for $3,500, but we turned around for the holidays and sold them for $297. A massive whopping deal for the holidays to give back to the entrepreneurs and small business owners and marketers who are trying to uh, learn how to do it the correct way and scale their business. And I'm going to show you how we almost hit that $250K coming from $164, right? Now, so what I did was, I wanted to run an ad, of course. What are we selling? Marketing courses, training courses, marketing and advertising to small businesses to help them sell, uh, scale their businesses and sell more product and services, right? So we had the four and what we did was I wanted to run a special ad to see what can I do for November for us to hit that 250K, right? So I ran an ad. Again, still in my courses, but we put them all together, right? We put them all together plus the tutorial plus the ebook, gave away free shit, right? So I ran an ad, I asked Facebook and I asked Google, right? That's who I turn to all the time because with them, they sell me information that I could use for my potential clients, my potential uh, uh, targeted audience, and I can uh, target them for advertisement. People like yourself, right? That's why you're watching this video, right? So I asked Facebook and Google. I said, hey, Facebook, tell me right now who is out there 
is trying to find their way in the marketing world. They're looking for marketing, they're looking for training, they're looking for courses, they're looking for advertisement, whatever those keywords are that you're looking for, Google, Facebook, tell me, who are they? Let me know who they are. So what they'll do, Google will turn around, sell me that information, right? And that's how I'm able to place ads in front of you guys, right? So they'll sell me, this is them. This is what they'll sell me. They'll sell me this box, what I call prime real estate, okay? Prime real estate. Now this box contains about 150 to two to 200,000 people, right? So you know, like I know, there's no way in hell I'm probably going to sell all of my product and my, uh, my, my, my training and my courses to all 150,000 people or 200,000 people. No way, right? So all I'm asking for is just a little bit. So now I have to be a little bit more specific with Google and Facebook. Now I'm asking them again, hey Google, Facebook, please tell me, who is being specific and typing in your engine search, marketing, training, Facebook ads, uh, advertising. Tell me who they are, Google. Now, Google is going to get more specific and they're going to narrow it down. But I have to pay them for that information, right? Now, that's what marketers do. We pay for that information, okay? If you click on a certain ad, um, you're going to get retargeted by that uh ad campaign about that sponsor, okay? You're gonna be retargeted again, again and again. So what Google does, whatever you type in your um, engine search, whether it's on Facebook or it's on Google, Google will sell marketers like myself that information which positions me to put ads in front of you again, right? So Google put me in here. Now I need to be just a little bit more specific. So I'm asking Google, tell me who's typing in the engine search. So they give me that information. Now they sell me this piece of property in this triangle okay now write this down first this box is called your targeted audience people all right your targeted audience okay this is called your targeted audience this box right here this prime real estate 150 200,000 plus people right now who are interested in in what you're advertising, okay? But this triangle right here represents people who are ready to buy your shit. They're ready to wipe off the, uh, swipe off the credit card, bloop, give you the information, swipe them up, sign them up. These people right here, they're most likely ready to buy your product, okay? So write this down. Ready to buy this triangle right here. Now, what's the problem with that right there? Who can tell me what's the problem with that? I'll tell you the problem with this, right? It sounds all good and dandy, right? People are laser focused. They're ready to buy a, 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 a training or a marketing course. But the only problem is all of my competitors, they're focused on this triangle as well, right? People who are a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more better than marketing than I am, they're getting the same information. Why? Because Google and Facebook they sell everybody the information. It's public information. When you sign up to any uh, social media platform, the small writing that most people don't read, right? You give them permission to go all through your life, from your bank accounts to your social, I mean, your medical, everything. But nobody really takes time out to read the small print, right? But we should, right? So Google's gonna sell me this information right here. They're gonna put me and all of my competitors in the same pond. I call it fishing in the same pond. I don't like fishing in the same pond. Why? Too many people. I look to the left, there's a market. I look to the right, there's a market. No, no. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna focus on this area right here. All of this area, you know, it's a real estate. Now, before I get to this area, let me tell you this. So this area right here, this box. All right, let's take this box right here. Now. Everything outside of this box, now write this down. This box right here, it represents people who are not gonna buy your shit anyway. They just, they're just not gonna buy, right? Not buying. This box right here is not buying anything. This triangle represents the people who are most likely ready to buy, but this box right here in this shaded area, we're gonna just shade this area right here. Gonna just shade this area. 
Boom! That area right here, the shaded area, nobody's buying nothing, right? So that leaves us with what, people? This area, all of this area right here, okay? Now, this piece of real estate is also could be considered prime real estate. Now, what I call this area right here, now write this down, okay? This area right here is what I call the abandoned and the ignored people right here. They feel so alone. Why? Because everybody and their mother who's marketing now, including all my competitors and all my colleagues and even my mentors, they're all focused on this big triangle right here. The people who are ready to buy. And I know what you're saying, but why not? If they're ready to buy, let's make the ad, boom, get the offer in, swipe the credit card, you have a sale, right? But the problem is, there's a whole bunch of other people who are focused on this. So what I do is now is the time to reposition. The name of the brilliant, the name of the brilliant case study is what? Repositioning and retarget. So now is the perfect time to reposition. This is exactly what I did to try to hit that 250K mark. But we fell short. 237. Not bad though, right? This is what we ended up with in this triangle. Let me use this thing here that represents the green. We came up with 237,153K. Okay? That's what we came up with. The 237, okay? So now, after repositioning yourself, all of this over here is prime real estate. You have this available, this available, and even this available, right? You have three quarters right here, untapped. Nobody's messing with it. Now, we reposition ourselves. So let me ask you a question. How many people uh, like to gamble? How many people go to Vegas or go to a favorite casino? You have a favorite casino, right? In, at your casino, what do you do? Do you play uh, uh, 21? Is it uh, uh, the cards? Is it roulette? Are you playing the crab table? Uh, what is it? Whatever, whatever, uh, whatever your game is, right? Sometimes you have to refocus, right? Now, I love playing craps. I love shooting dice. When I'm on the table, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes I might have $1,000 a hand out there, right? I'm just saying, not big balling, but I'm just saying, I might have five in my bank and I might have $500 out on the table covering all the bets, because I don't want to lose. So I'm covering all the bets pretty much, right? But now, I'm looking at my bank. I got $500 worth of chips, right? I got $500 on the table, right? So now I'm thinking to myself, man, this one roll, this dude, he ain't been hitting, or she ain't been hitting. I think I'm gonna come down off my $500 bet, okay? But I might keep $100 out of there. So now, I'm coming down 400, adding, <clears throat> adding it back to my bank. Now that puts me back up to nine. I have one out there on the table to see what it does, right? <clears throat> so now, with the ad, the first ad that I made to touch these people, Right, the very first ad that I made for Facebook and Google to tell me that this triangle are people who are ready to buy, right? This is the ad, right? So what I did with the ad, I come down off the ad. It's like coming down off of a bet. I tell the dealer, hey, give me my 400 bucks. Keep 100 out there somewhere. Give me my 400 bucks. I wanna have another chance if I lose, okay? Now, I take the ad, I come down, I retarget the ad. This is the part where we retarget. I retarget the ad to hit this demographics over here. This triangle, this triangle, and even this triangle. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why well, do you know who they are? Because when I ran the first ad, before I even repositioned re, uh, and retargeted, from the very first ad, Facebook already told me who was interested in this ad, right? These were the people who were most likely ready to buy, but these other people over here, this other part of the region, they were engaging in the ad, okay? They didn't sign up, no. They didn't give me their information, their email, their number, or their name to call them back, no. But they clicked on the ad and they saw it, okay? They saw it, which they made an impression. So, Facebook 
and other tools that I use. And I would uh, strongly urge you to get other tools too, right? And uh, you can get other tools to help you track your marketing and your ads, okay? You can even get them for free. Just get a free trial. I get them for free all the time. I love free shit. I give away free shit and I like to get free shit, right? So I use some of the ads and get a 30 day trial or even a 90 day trial. Call me cheap, I call it smart, all right? So get you different tools to help you track your marketing. Marketing without tracking is dead marketing because you got to see where your money's going and how it's coming in, okay? So make sure you get the tools to track your marketing. So these people, I know exactly who they are. So now I'm going to take my first ad, bring it down here. And I'm going to retarget them with another ad just for them. Now remember, I came down off the bet, meaning come down off the ad, but I still kept something in this ad, right? I still kept a small percentage in this ad, right? Kept about 15% in this ad, okay? Come down off the ad, still have 15, reposition to hit this area over here that's completely what? Abandoned and ignored, right? They feel ignored, so somebody have to show them some love. So I'm gonna show them some love. It's exactly what I did to almost hit that 250. Now, when I retarget these people here, I came back and got 25% here, 25% here, and 15 there, okay? That's 65 percent had i kept everything on this one triangle i probably would have only came out to about 25 to 30 percent but instead i got 60 which bumped this 164k up to 237 in products training and courses and it's just that simple all behind doing two things repositioning and retargeting retargeting is so crucial so if you're a business owner and you're out there and um whether it's you by yourself or you have a staff, right? It's different ways to actually uh, scale and make sure that your ad is successful. And sometimes it takes taking a step back, taking a deep breath, retargeting and repositioning. And that works every time, regardless of what other people say, ah, oh, scary, scary, scary money, don't make any money. That is true, but you have to be smart because the number one rule in business is don't lose money. And I'm going to show you exactly how not to do that by following these steps, okay? So this was a, a brilliant case study ad on repositioning and retargeting. And I just want to let you know how important uh, retargeting is. You have to retarget, right? Whether it's an email, phone call, because most sales are made by the fifth or sixth touches, right? The fifth or sixth touches. You're just not going to make a sale right off the gate. If so, that's good. We call that hitting the lotto. But a true sale is you have to, it's going to take, you know, at least five to six touches to, uh, to make that sale go through. But this is the science behind the madness. Brilliant case study number five from the firm. Repositioning and retargeting. Hope you take notes. Man, listen, it's Friday. Play safe. Play nice. And I'm going to see you Monday morning live at the top, baby. We out. Peace.